Today we'll be covering the basics of more CT Viewer. Let's get started. What is CT Viewer? Simply put, CT Viewer lets you easily view CT100 series TDR data on a PC. This video will show you just the basics of CT Viewer. Later videos will go into more detail on specific functions of this powerful software. First, we're going to launch CT Viewer from your Windows desktop. Next, we're going to grab these traces and drag them into CT Viewer. These traces are of two test leads barreled together, with one connection slightly unseated while the other is fully seated. When comparing two or more traces, you want to match the vertical scale. As you can see, these two traces are of the same lines. We can see the connectors in the middle and the difference between the one with the seated and unseated connection. I'm pressing the space bar to bring up the shortcuts diagram. This gives you a list of keyboard and mouse shortcuts for easy reference. We will address these shortcuts individually in a bit, but for now, I'm pressing the space bar to make it disappear. Next, I'm going to grab the right cursor with the mouse and center it where the connections are and just leave it toward the tip of the peak. You can see how the impedance changed in the lower right hand box where I have the cursor measurements parked. I click on the unseated trace and the cursor stays in the same place but reads the same point on the unseated trace. And you can see how that impedance makes that jump. Now for more keyboard shortcuts, I can press the tab key to jump between traces. Holding down control lets me adjust the X offset. It lets me drag it left and right, but not up and down. Holding down Alt lets me adjust the Y offset. It lets me drag it up and down, but not left to right. And Shift Control gives you free motion. To get these back together, simply go to the Tools menu to match scale and reset our offsets. Right click lets you draw a box to zoom. The mouse wheel lets you vertically zoom. Plus and minus control vertical zoom as well. Q and E control the horizontal zoom. W, A, S, and D keys let you pan the trace. Pressing F1 brings up the help menu. It will pop up through your default browser, and it's a handy knowledge base to get you up and going. To get back to CT Viewer, you can just close your browser or send it to the back. Fit Trace zooms back out and fits the trace on the screen. And now we're going to select our traces and remove them from the main screen. And there you have it, just the basics for this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and check back for more updates. Check out our website at moretm.com for more info. And we'll see you next time.